Welcome back, welcome back everybody, Triangle Strategy Part 25. We just took back the Grand Roselian Mines, which is here. This is the Roselian Village. We got a few main story quests, or main storyline dialogue to go through. One side story question with Anna and Milo, but real quickly, let's head into the encampment. I do believe I have an upgrade to do, or two. The upgrades definitely keep it coming. Well, no, it doesn't look like I have anything to upgrade here for them. Don't have anything I can purchase. Definitely been hard on the purchasing <laughs> in order to try and keep everybody up to snuff. Part of the reason why I've been able to keep everybody alive, or at least win all the battles. I don't think I have... Ooh, I do have stuff I can purchase. Lots of money, so screw it. Here we go. Extra large recovery pallet. Large range recovery pallet. These seem to be super useful because they can heal you completely and get rid of all your status ailments. Uh, let's see. I got more of these. Let's get all the swift spices because I seem to be running out of those. Evasion spices seem to be very useful. What else we got? Ooh, accessories. We got more amulets. The amulets are the upgrades of the rings I've found. HP. Ooh, immunity poison. Look at that. What is this? The strength bracelet. Immunity instant death. Look at that. I'm glad I looked over here. Magic put three. Immunity silence. That seems very helpful. Immunity Paralysis, Magic Defense, Immunity Sleep, Immunity Blindness, that's for the Archer, that's for sure, Immunity to tem Temptation, Immunity to Mobility, Increased Damage Dealt by Critical Hits, Critical Necklace, I kind of want to put that on Roland, but we'll hang out for now without moving anybody anything and then yeah we got more oh we can buy superior irons look at that look at that do i have enough money to buy up all this stuff here superior timber there's four of them fiber i don't really need any more of quality fibers i definitely need more of and superior fibers now let's see who we can upgrade now Saradoa, definitely. Uh, recover HP when you defeat an enemy. No, I don't want to do that one. I don't have enough superior iron for you. Increase the duration of birds by prey. Increase the speed. Grant one instance of invisibility to all allies within range. That sounds very really useful. Cast for one turn, use all TP to f deal fire type damage, setting the ground ablaze. The more TP consumed, the stronger they attack. Uh, increases the range of command abilities. Grants an ability, an ally deal ability to recover one time after falling in battle. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Soar up high if you can deal physical damage to a single enemy from above. Become invincible and infuriate all enemies. Let me let me let me read through all this here at a later time. <laughs> Although those abilities are very interesting, that's something that I really love about this game is they definitely have a lot of different abilities for each individual person. Thank you guys for watching these videos though. I honestly appreciate it. I've been having a blasty blast playing this and I hope you guys have had a blasty blast watching it. Let's jump into this character story here. Anna asked Milo is raising poisonous plants, but the dancer insists that the plants have more than one use. Oh, just look how you've grown to think you'd produce such a bounty and you flourished as well I'm so proud of you my lovelies quite the passionate one aren't you oh. Ooh. don't sneak up behind people like that hasn't anyone told you it's rude apologies I was just curious 
what are you doing here? If you must know, I'm harvesting herbs. I thought I might make them into medicine for the injured. That would be helpful. Lord Saranoa will be pleased as well. <laughs> and I am oh so happy to please. Well, of course you are. I am quite taken with powerful people. People like Lord Saranoa. You'll tell him I'm doing my best to be useful to him, won't you? Wait. That plant... It induces paralysis, does it not? Quite knowledgeable you are. Did you know it can also be used for pain relief? Well, paralysis, the pain relief, same thing. This plant can thing. be both a poison and a medicine? Yes, depending on how it's used. And yet, people still try to force plants into one category or another. Good and therefore valuable, or bad and therefore detested. Foolish, don't you think? These little ones are neither good nor bad. They just... are. You treat them as if they were your children. Perhaps it seems strange to care for a plant, which is no more than a tool for making medicines or poisons, but... Is it more flashbacks? Is it flashback time? Minister Edor, about that experiment. I think we are on the verge of discovering how to better stabilize the subject. Wait. We are not alone. Show yourself! Milo, why do you eavesdrop on us? Don't be upset. As your spy, I thought it behoove me to keep abreast of important information. Unnecessary. You need only do as I instruct. But that would make me no better than a tool. Does that displease you? <sighs> Worry not. I take good care of my tools, so long as they serve me well. Well, so you literally just call But them should they act out of line, they will be disposed of. <sighs> <sighs> That dude is cold-blooded. Even tools have feelings. What was that? Nothing you need concern yourself with. Anyway, I'm certain my herbs will benefit House Wolfort. Please pass on my warmest regards to Lord Saranoa. The warmest. Seemed like it was definitely worth the, the time to watch that. A little backstory on Milo and how she feels about the Hierophant. Uh, word of the salt crystals when the Grand Nozerlian mind reaches the Hierophant's palace. Aw, oh, shit. About to be a war on three fronts. Ah, Milo has sent a dispatch from Glenbrook. Oh, no, Deep but she's Deep within the Grand Nozerlian mines lies... Hmm... It would seem salt crystals were found within. Impossible! The discovery of salt outside the source explains Gustadolf's recent... provocations. How can you be so calm? The teachings tell us that salt is a blessing bestowed only upon the goddess's followers. The discovery of these salt crystals is an existential threat to Hyzant. Salt crystals are salt, too. We need only keep word of this discovery from spreading. Does that not shake of their course. face, though? But how? The Hierophant has spoken. Minister Exham, you shall raise an army and seize the Grand Nozellian Mines in Hyzant's name. The Hierophant asks us to invade Glenbrook? Do you have another way to silence King Roland and his royal hounds in House Wolfort? Minister Serenoa is one of us, and thus is honor bound to heed the Hierophant's word. Yeah, not so much. 
But we know not if he will do so, or if he will cast his lot with his precious king. You shall ask him yourself when you surround Castle Woolfort en route to the mine. And if he resists? Destroy him. You are free to deal with him, as we do with all who forsake the goddess. But that doesn't make any sense. The saintly seven, although faithful, believe in the teachings, but if the teachings themselves are wrong, wouldn't that shake their faith? Anyway, next is uh, here at the Twins Gate. Gusadov gathers his troops at the Twins Gate and rallies them by revealing that the Grand Ozalian Mines and Sarkosos have been taken by from Astfrost. Astaphorosthes. Astaphorions. I am gladdened to see each and every one of you. My ironclad brothers in arms here at Twinsgate. Didn't mean to burp I have speech, asked sir. you here to tell you of a most fortuitous discovery. We have found crystals of salt deep in the Grand Norselian mines. Alas, Glenbrook has taken those very mines from us. What's worse, Glenbrook's esteemed House Wolfort is led by one of the saintly seven of Hyzant. They will no doubt be informed of the salt crystals, and their precious religion will be shaken to its core. I trust you can all imagine how Hyzant will respond to such an affront. They will not go quietly, but will instead seek the crystals for themselves, that their reign of terror may continue unimpeded. Therefore, we must subdue Glenbrook and seize the mines for Esfrost if we are to counter this grave threat. But we cannot stop there, for that will only draw Hyzant to our gates. They will stop at nothing to conquer all of Norzelia in their name. The duchy has never been in a more precarious position. But we will not yield. We subscribe to no faith, and we bend the knee for no king. We shall greet our enemies at Twinsgate with cold, hard steel. Hello. Our newest weapon, the Death Snell, is nearly complete. With it, we shall strike back at Hyzant. But they the false struck. goddess shall crumble beneath the sheer force of our iron will and Hyzant reduced to rubble along with her. Raise your swords, my Black Iron heroes. Your names shall be cast in iron when the histories of this day are written. You shall be known as the defenders of Esfrost. Rah! For Esfrost! So did everybody just kind of forget that he invaded Glendale? Oh, yes. Ago? The death snare will reduce many a falsehood to rubble, dear Gustadolf. Ooh, is he going to turn it against... against him? Like, it would be crazy if Savarog ended up just blowing up Gustadolf in the middle of battle, just turning that cannon straight into his face. Anyway, let's see what's going on over here. Have you heard actual the popular Asper? rumor, Lord Claris? That Hyzant intends to raise an army against Glenbrook? Yes, I am familiar. So it's reached the Consortium, then. Is it true? King Roland has only just reclaimed the Crown City with Hyzant's help, not to mention restored relations with them. Ordinarily, such a thing would be unthinkable, but the rumors are so persistent that I think something may be afoot. For example? I wouldn't be so restless if I had an example to give. Who in the heck is Claris? Esfrost gathers its troops at Twinsgate. Might they have heard the rumors as well? Perhaps. All right, he is A the battle for the very of soul of Norselia may okay. loom on the horizon. 
But therein lies the opportunity for merchants like us. You can't wage war without a surfeit of supplies. You're quite right about that. And each shift in Norzelia's power balance opens new business opportunities. Will the Consortium continue trading with Hyzant? Tis difficult to say. I believe House Wolfort's actions from here on will be key to the Consortium's decision. House Wolfort, you say? Indeed. They've been involved in most every conflict between the three nations on this continent. Why stop now? I shall wait and see how Lord Serenoa responds first, lest I make any hasty decisions. How will Serenoa proceed forward? Hyzant has learned of the salt crystals. Minister Exham of the Saintly Seven wastes no time in mustering his army, which now marches on the Grand Norzelian Mines. Elsewhere, Gustadolf amasses his own forces at Twinsgate in anticipation of the war to come. All eyes are on Glenbrook, where Roland and Serenoa's pronouncement could touch off a battle for the soul of Norzelia. After much deliberation, Roland makes his way to Castle Wolffort to inform Serenoa of the decision that now weighs heavy on his heart. I guess he is the king. He should be the one to make all the decisions, right? Roland visits Wolfhart to tell Serenoa of his decision. Yeah, he is the king of that area, so I guess his decision is final. No scales to be used here. I appreciate you coming all this way, Roland. I was the one who asked for your time, so it is only natural I make the journey. I wish to tell you that I finally made up my mind. And I would hear your decision, if you were willing to share it with me. I've long pondered over the one thing that Norzelia needs most. I thought back on the Salt Iron War. Thirty years have passed, yet the root of our conflict remains the same. Salt. Each nation still thinks only of itself, wishing to fill its coffers even at the expense of others. But who bears the brunt of such a war? The people. Exactly so. The avarice of the ruler is an existential threat to their loyal subjects. And yet without that wealth, the people suffer just as much. They languish in poverty. This much is obvious, I say. but there can be no winner without a loser. Remove one and you necessarily remove the other. If we achieve equality, we achieve peace. And how do you propose we achieve... No. No, surely you don't mean... Yes. The Goddess's teachings. All can live as equals under the Goddess. An authority greater than any king. The model nation was in front of us all along, Sarah Noah. The holy state of Hyzant. What? I have decided that we must give the salt crystals in the Grand Norzelian Mines to Hyzant. And in so doing, you'll give them control of all Norzelia. Exactly. There will be no more squabbling over salt. Norzelia will know eternal peace at last. Unequal peace, surely. One built on the backs of a people like the Roselle, if not the Roselle themselves. I am not blind to that fact. But so few will suffer for the good of so many. Nothing in this world is perfect, Saranoa. The sacrifice yeah. of the few for the good of the many. It's the only clear answer, and one I would give every time I were asked. I mean... Submitting to the goddess will rob you of your kingship. So be it. My crown. My pride. They are but small prices to pay for peace. You are truly prepared to throw it all away. Join me, Saranoa. Let us unite Norzelia under the Holy State. I mean... Roland, this is quite sudden. I understand. Pray, take all the time you need. I mean, kind of. 
There's not really a lot of time. They're marching I expect on us right Frederica now. will want nothing to do with this plan. Seeing as it forsakes her people. I am already mourning the rift this may cause between you. But I shall not be swayed. This will be my final act as Glenbrook's king. Well, not exactly what I was expecting. King Roland's anguish plays plainly across his face. It pains me to see him so tortured. I am not surprised. The future of our kingdom, to say nothing of the entire continent, rests upon his shoulders. Pray tell, what do you intend to do about the salt crystals? In truth, I cannot decide. Salt is too precious to be hoarded. We have a duty to share it with the people, which is... Where the difficulty lies, yes. The source makes that all too clear. Salt lies at the heart of every war in Norzelia. <sighs> Would that the boundless salted sea of Roselan legend still existed. We'd have no need of conflict if there were a source of salt for all. They'll find the rest of My the salt. My love, if I may. The discovery of the salt crystals has made two things plain to me. The first is that my mother spoke true in the legend she passed on to me. And the other is that the goddess's teachings are nothing more than a lie built to constrain your people. Just so, we are guilty of nothing. Yet the Roselle languish in the source where they are looked down upon and forced to work until they die. Entire generations lost, countless lives given to Hyzant's cruelty. Cruelty created to justify Hyzant's own avarice and lust for power. Such is the ugly lie at the heart of their teachings. One revealed by a crystal of the mineral they hold so dear. The time has come, Serenoa. The Roselle must be freed. The salt crystals have brought us to the brink of war. We can harness this unrest, incite the Roselle to rise up and rebel against their captors. I am with you. Believe me, I am. But you make it sound so... Simple. Yes, I know. But the suffering of my people is so distant for everyone else. We can no longer wait for someone to do the right thing. Help isn't coming. Why else would my own mother incite rebellion? We are alone. I swear to you, none of this feels distant to me. The Roselle live in my domain. I am betrothed to you, my dear. It couldn't feel any closer. And I thank the stars that I have you by my side. I do. In truth, that's why I think this time will be different. Why I'll be able to accomplish what my mother could not. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I agree. But the risk is immense. Suppose we succeed, what then? Aizant will not let us go quietly. Of course not. And when that time comes, you can lead the Roselle to Centralia. Just as your mother wrote about in the book she left behind. Beyond the Great Falls in the Falk's Domain at the end of the Norzelia River. The ancestral home of the Roselle. Hey, that's not but a bad plan. That's just a legend. We've already found one legend to be rooted in truth. Perhaps this one is as well. And if not, at least you'll be safe from harm. <laughs> I doubt Benedict will share our feelings, though. Abandoning all we've built to embark on a journey fraught with danger in search of a legend. It definitely sounds like a video game. Yet no matter how perilous the path ahead, I would happily walk it at your side. I'm talking about just you going by yourself with the Rizel, not me. I got a war to fight. Interesting, though. Are we going to start a three, three, four? I war trust you what? understand what a monumental effect the discovery of these salt crystals will have on Norzelia's history. Yeah, everybody's talking about Whatever it. course of action we choose will determine whether House Wolfort leaves a legacy in that history or is expunged from it. How would you proceed, Benedict? 
I would do all I could to keep it from falling into Hyzant's hands. They already control the source. With the crystals in hand, they will solidify their grip on the realm and in time dominate it. The siren song of a false equality under their goddess shall blanket the land, claiming every domain and its people. Even though they count me among the saintly seven. Even then, for that matters little when the equality they espouse is dictated by the goddess, or should I say, the Hierophant. In the, the end, Hierophant, they will have they? the same life and death control over all Norzelia that they now hold over the Roselle. And our wounds from the battle with Esfrost have only begun to heal. Hyzant will destroy us if we wage war against them in our current state. But they stand little chance against us if we ally with Esfrost. There's where the rub ally is. Ally with Esfrost? Are you of sound mind, Benedict? Quite. Think about it for a moment. Esfrost wants nothing more than to loosen Hyzant's grip. They will go to war if it means control of the salt crystals. Our interests are broadly aligned, yes, but... Esfrost has been building toward precisely that purpose for some time now. You speak of the Desnel, the weapon that Cordelia mentioned. Precisely. A weapon capable of reducing the goddess's shield to rubble, leaving Hyzant's capital ripe for the taking. Without that weapon, we cannot win. You need only say the word, and I shall convince Esfrost to join our side. I appreciate your candor, Benedict, and I do not doubt you could secure Esfrost's cooperation but I fear the harder fight is within our own domain. King Roland's heart will not be easily won. I bid you listen closely and calmly to what I'm about to ask. <laughs> From whence this somber tone? Do you believe King Roland is fit to rule? What are you implying? Decorum is of little use when the fate of our realm is at stake, Lord Serenoa. Are you content to spend the rest of your life in servitude to another? Not another word, Benedict. Roland is more than my king. He is my friend. And you are Lord of House Wolfort, whose military prowess is known to all Norzelia. Not the guard dog of Glenbrook and Hyzant. What else are you here to do, if not to protect your house and keep its banner aloft? <sighs> but you have the potential for so much more. All Norzelia could be yours if you but desired it. Interesting. Treason, if not outright regicide. These are your suggestions. Of course not. The blood in your veins and the royal family's ring are claim enough to the throne. There is no need for violence. I told you not to speak of that again. But you did not tell me to forget. The time to reckon with your lineage draws near. You must make a... I've heard enough. Leave me. Yeah, Just know a little that I will do anything you ask of me, Lord Serenoa. I pray that you make the right choice. Not only for House Wolfort, but for yourself. That's rough. Either side with Hyzant, side with Astros, or just run away. So there's the three choices, and here's the scales of convictions. We got Hyzant's army ready to march. Here is Astros' army defending the Twins Gate. And once again, House Wolfort stands before three diverging paths. It's time to come to lay their convictions bare before the scales and make their greatest decision yet. So are you approaching a turning point from recognizing that you save your current progress? Proceed to the save screen. Yeah, let's go ahead and save it here. Sounds like this scales of conviction is going to be... <laughs> this one's going to be a, a doozy of a decision. Side with Asphros, side with Hy uh, Hyzanth. 
or run away. You are certain Hyzan's army marches for the Grand Norzellian mines? There is no doubt. They've heard word of the crystals. Of course they have. It Everybody was has. only a matter of time. We knew this. S. Frost's army gathers at Twinsgate as well. War's breaking out over this thing, and we've got to be ready. How will Glenbrook respond, King Roland? There's no need to prepare for war. I have decided that we will surrender the salt crystals to the holy state of Hyzant. What? Furthermore, I hereby declare that the kingdom of Glenbrook and its people shall submit to the goddess and her teachings. There is no way to bring happiness to all Norzelia with the salt crystals. Which is why I have chosen a path that will allow the greatest number of people to live in equality and harmony. How could you? Do you not see that Hyzant's dominion over Norzelia's salt is why we are in conflict already? True. Is the suffering of the Rizal not proof enough that the goddess's vaunted equality is a lie? Also she true. speaks the truth, my king. Handing over the salt crystals is tantamount to giving Hyzant's goddess free reign of Norzelia. Will you so readily surrender the realm to the Hierophant? I acknowledge the abdication of my kingdom and kingship alike. A small price to pay in my eyes. In exchange for the security and prosperity of the many. And the sacrifice of the Rozel. Is that a small price to you? It is. <laughs> How could you say such a thing to my face? I for one oppose. I would prefer to ally with Esfrost and strike back at Hyzant. The salt deposits within the mines give us the leverage we need to convince Gustadolf to join us. Ally with Esfrost? Gustadolf, the one that you killed his dad? You dare suggest we ally with the man who murdered my yep, father? Yep, 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 I see no reason why we should not. You proposed abdicating the throne for the sake of the kingdom and its people. So you should have no trouble putting aside your own feelings and judging this matter dispassionately. I cannot believe my own ears. I will not have you lecture me on feelings when it is not your father he murdered. None of you can see beyond your own grievances. It's no wonder my people have suffered for generations. We're told to believe in the goddess, while our own lives are thrown away to make a few more grains of your precious salt. And now, even with proof that the goddess is a lie, you would watch us dig our own graves for your comfort. Lady Frederica, please. We shall speak of the Roselle in due time. No, I've heard that before. Your due time is never, and I will not have you cast us aside for another three decades or more. All else is in disarray. If Hyzant seizes the Salt Crystals, we forfeit the best opportunity in decades to free my people. We know the truth. We must act upon it. We must be a light in the darkness. Hmm. We cannot afford to dilute our forces when the enemy marches on us as we speak. So we are a distraction to you? I am merely being rational. Liberating the Roselle would be extremely dangerous. We cannot take such a risk. Suppose we succeed. How do you propose we fend off the fury Hyzant will rain down upon us? Esfrost would pounce on us, sensing weakness at the undue burden we've taken upon ourselves. Precisely. We would be without allies and ripe for the taking. There is another way. And what, pray tell, would that be? We flee. We set out alongside the Roselle in search of Centralia. Centralia is a myth. The legends of my people are true. I care not one whit if they are. I will hear no talk of forsaking the Wolfort domain. Silence! I have heard enough to know where each of you stand. Do you all hold the courage of your own convictions? I do. Nothing I've heard here has swayed me. I feel the same. 
Very well. I would ask for some time to think on the matter. Interesting. Interesting. There be it the scales. I understand each of you keenly, my friends. You have not arrived at these decisions lightly, and I do not doubt your convictions. Yet choosing any of the options before me risks creating a schism among the others. I cannot afford to lose any of you. Not after how far we've come. Which leaves me only one option. Scales will guide us. We must... The scales will guide us. There must be another way. St I mean, the scales have always guided us, right? So that's what we should do. Well, that's what we have. But this there must be another way means there's a way we can proceed without using the scales? Am I... Am I interpreting that correctly? The scales will guide us. There must be another way. I mean, the scales kind of suck. Will I have to convince everybody of one of the paths? I mean, none of the paths seem right. Going with Hyzanth, going with Asfroth, or running away. All three of those options suck. There, there's got to be another way. The only other way I can think of is fight both of them off. Fight the S Frosty, fight the Hyzanth, take control of all of Norzelia and use the salt to make everybody happy. <laughs> there. Alright, let's do this. Let's do There Must Be Another Way. Because then I think we might be able to fight this war. There must be another way. Nay, I mustn't give in so readily. There must be another way. Yes, the other way is One to fight will bind everybody. us together, not tear us asunder. Now then, to find it. Certainties first. We cannot afford to relinquish control of the salt crystals to any one nation. Salt necessarily belongs to the people, and on that point I shall not waver. There must be a way to bring about the lasting peace Roland desires without the need for Hyzant's warped teachings. Correct. Ah, Hyzant moves to take the Grand Norzelian mines as I Who contemplate the hell is that guy? this. They must be stopped. They will no doubt make an ostentatious show of power in an attempt to intimidate us. What's worse, they'll soon be at our door and we'll not defeat them with our army alone. Surely there's a way we can hold them off. With swords and shit. Starve them out in a war of attrition. Greet them with the wolf fort domain's wildfire. Or wash them away from the water of the Norzilia River. The wolf fort domain's wildfire is the fire traps. Starve them out is to try and outlast them. Or wash them away with water from the Norzilia River. But we're nowhere near the Norzilia River. Or at least they wouldn't be coming from the Norzilia River. Greet them with the Wolf Fort Domain's wildfire. Yeah, that, I mean, if they come into our city, that's... That's how we hold them off. We burn them to death. The wildfire, of course. We'll draw them into the village and set the vast majority of their forces alight. You're... The Hierophant will never relent, however. Hyzant will bear down on us with the full force of their army. We've no chance of winning a protracted war. Hyzat must fall and quickly. We gotta explode them. We need Esfrost. We need the Death Snell. Tis the only way we'll pierce the goddess's shield. I hardly relish the thought of asking Gustadolf to come to our aid. He'll no doubt demand the salt crystals in return. Who might help us get our hands on that weapon? Minister Lila of the Ministry of Medicine. No choice to bend the knee to Asfrost. 
Savrog. Might Lord Savrog be the key? Yeah, absolutely. Savrog is definitely the key. He hates Gustadolf, first and foremost. Still has a sneaking suspicion. And I think, I think he's still plotting against Gustadolf. Or at least from that last cutscene before this, it showed that Savrog was like, yeah, I'm going to show you what the Death Knell can do. And kind of hinting towards he was going to use the Death Knell on Gustadolf. So yeah, Savrog is definitely going to be the key. Interesting. Lord Svarog, yes. He's Svarog. going to fight alongside us. It's time he made good on his word. Yeah, and he we did. share a Square. common enemy in Gustadolf. He'll be a boon. A boon. A boon, I tell you. There is still the matter of how we invade Hyzant and incite the Roselle to rebel. Suppose the hidden truth behind the goddess's statue. Perhaps we would press our case with the people of Hyzanth. If we gain entry to the palace, we can assassinate the Hierophant. Ooh! Yeah. I mean, we've been the assassinating type thus far. Uh, I don't think we can press our case with the people of Hyzanth. They're all kind of brainwashed into thinking everything is perfectly fine. So trying to tell them it's not, I don't think that would work. And the truth behind the goddess's statue... I guess that is their biggest kicker. Like, that's their big thing, is the goddess statue. So it's either assassinate the Hierophant or expose the truth behind the goddess's statue. Assassinating the Hierophant would just cause an uprising. We have to expose the truth. I mean, that's the whole kicker behind this, is exposing the truth that the teachings are false. Yes! We'll blast away the statue and reveal Hyzant's lies for all to see. Yep. If the Rosellan legends are true, an enormous pillar of salt rests within the goddess's statue. Yep. Revealing that will prove that the Roselle spoke truth all these years. Goddess and Hierophant alike will lose all claim to authority, leaving them open to a revolt from a united Roselle. And now we have the means to make the explosives that will bring Hyzant to its knees. Just one problem remains. How will we manage to pass through the goddess's shield? No banner could pass into Hyzant without arousing suspicion. Unless... They're of Travis's crew, they're of the Consortium, they're of the Roselle. I mean, if they're of the Roselle, they're definitely gonna get thrown into the... into the source. Fucking Travis's crew, I mean... <laughs> Travis is just a bandit in Glenbrook. If they're of the consort, yeah. Yeah. If Saranoa goes in there as one of the saintly seven, then he should be able to get in no problem. Unless they've no banner at all. The consortium, of course. Or no, the merchants. One glimpse of the salt crystals ought to bring Claris to the table. So long as I play to his self-interest, the rest will follow. Consortium, the the merchants. I have it. I found I a way to get everyone what <laughs> they want most in one fell swoop. The salt crystals will belong to all, and not just a privileged few. The people of Norzelia will finally be lords and ladies of their own making, masters of their own destinies. Benedict's fervent desire to protect the domain's integrity. Roland's yearning for equity. Frederica's resolve to free her people. Nailed it. I hear you all, my friends. You're not alone. Nor are the countless others who look to me at this late hour. If ever there were a time to heed my father's last words, it is now. I must forge my own path and lead my people. The scales cannot save us this time. The words of my closest swinging, confidants though? have revealed a way forward that the scales never could. All that remains is to convince them to follow me down the path I have made. As Lord of House Wolfort, I solemnly swear an oath by which all future lords shall be bound. Oh. The scales are still doing stuff. Ooh. 
Is that I will normal? never turn my back on the promise of a better world. Is that normal? If grief could if grief could passions move, if griefs could passions move. Yeah, let's save the game. That sounds <laughs> we've definitely That feels like it was very important. That feels like yeah, we didn't use the scales this time. Like at all. Thus That's great, did Sir right? Noah ascertain the scale's true purpose. Taking up the mantle of his late father, Lord Simone, and the ill-fated Dragan, Sarah Noah returns to present his allies with a bold new vision for Norzelia's future. Part two, those of aspiration. I think I read that right. Sorry, I keep burping all the time. <clears throat> I have made up my mind. We turn the salt crystals over to no one, but we do not keep them for ourselves. Oh? Instead, we distribute them equally to every person across Norzelia and change the face of the continent. Do you hear yourself? Do you mean this sincerely, Sarah Noah? What if the Rosal? I speak my conscience, and I promise I have not forgotten the Rosal. Pray, grant me the time to explain my strategy. Yes, let's we hear it again. We must put an end to the teachings if we are to release the salt to all Norzelians. Which is to say, the holy state of Hyzant must fall. So we are to take a Benedict's proposal? No. I propose we attack on three separate fronts. At the same time? At the same time? We will use our domain's wildfire to prevent Hyzant from capturing the mines. Meanwhile, I wish to negotiate an accord with Esfrost that affords us use of the death snell. I know full well the risks involved. However, I believe we can convince Svarog, who opposes the Archduke, that an alliance is worthwhile. Finally, we expose the falsehoods that prop up Hyzant's precious teachings and incite another Rosellan uprising. In one fell swoop, we can abase the Hierophant and throw the capital into chaos. Why is nobody saying that? That accomplished, we shall sack the Holy State with Esfros at our side. With both the Source and the Crystals in our possession, no one in Norzelia will ever want for salt. We can bring peace, equity, and stability to all Norzelia, just as Roland envisioned. We can restore the Wolfort name to its former glory and usher it into a new era as Benedict desires. An era, my dear Frederica, in which the Roselle shall be free once and for all. What I ask may sound impossible, but we have survived long odds before. Let us cling together and do so once again. Do any present have objections to the path I have set before us? None for me, lad. You've quickened the very blood in my veins. We fight. Permit me to speak plainly, your majesty. I am in agreement with Lord Serenoa. We cannot dream our desires into reality. Some things must be fought for and won. We've tried your way, Benedict. It's time we tried something new. What say you three? I am ashamed to admit that my obsession with the Domain's safety may have blinded me to more aggressive solutions. Very aggressive. Your plan is audacious, perhaps even reckless, but it is not impossible and may well be worth the risk. House Wolfort is better for having you at its helm, Lord Serenoa. The fate of my people always felt so small compared to the war raging around us. Yet you would still choose to walk a dangerous path rather than cast the Roselle aside. It would be my honor to fight alongside you and see this through. Hell yes. 
I honestly thought Hyzant would rule better than I could. That they would bring prosperity to Norzelia. I shrank from my duties and lost myself to the idea of revenge upon Gustadolf. I may well have betrayed my own kingdom. You kind of did. you, Sarah Noah, opened my eyes to the truth. And for you, my friend, as King of Glenbrook, I shall face any enemy and lead our people to glory. Aw, yeah. Then we've no need of the scales. Our path is decided. From here on out, we shall split into three regiments. Allow me to explain the role each has to play. Oh shit, we're all gonna split up. Oh shit, I didn't upgrade anybody else. <laughs> I pray that clarifies what each regiment needs do. Oh no, I gotta the split everybody up. War risks slowly driving the three kingdoms to ruin and starving their people in the process. Not to mention, all involved will lose sight of what they were fighting for if they haven't already. Agreed. Tis for the good of all if we bring it to a swift and decisive end. I mean, and that would so be we ideal. find ourselves contemplating war on three fronts. Yes, it's exactly Isant what I wanted. As Frost aren't expecting such drastic action from us, the element of surprise may deliver us victory. As will the leader of each regiment involved in this gambit. I shall lure the Hyzantian army to their doom here at Castle Wolfort. Swarog knows who I am, and swore he would fight alongside me. I shall depart for Esfrost and hold him to his word. Pray, let me be the one to journey to Hyzant. I would love nothing more than to expose their full idol for all to see, and lead my people to rebel in the name of freedom. Wait, so what's there and I shall secure do? the help of Claris at the Consortium in exchange for information about the salt crystals. He can secret you inside the capital and provide you with explosives enough to fell the goddess. Though we fight on distant fronts, we are bound together in spirit. We fight to the last for Norzelia! For, for Norzelia! Ooh, I'm in trouble, folks. <laughs> I did not upgrade anybody else. Uh, I should probably work on leveling some peoples. I have a feeling that we're going to have to split the forces up into three here. Is that a Vlora? Hey, that's a Vlora! No, it can't be. General of Vlora? Of the Asfrosti army? Former general, I come to you now as a citizen of Norzelia. Nothing more. I come to House Wolfort in search of sanctuary. I beg you, have the mercy to take me in. Wait here. Oh shit, we got a Vlora. General of Vlora, we thought you missing. Indeed, it was your actions that caused my brief disappearance. <laughs> though I bear no grudge for how the battle ended. This time, however, I come to you with a humble request. I wish to join your ranks, if you'll have me. abso fucking lootly You wish to defect? To what end? That we may bring this fraught and fractious chapter of Norzelia's history to a close. I would see those of Lady Cordelia's generation preside over an era of peace and tranquility. You've every right to doubt me when I say Lady Cordelia has touched me. But I swore to In be her way? sword forevermore, not as Frost's. We have long been enemies. You've taken much from us in Esfrost's name. I know you to be many things, General of Laura, but a schemer and a liar are not among them. I trust that you speak true. Roland has and nothing to say about this. Your talk of a this? swift end to this conflict appeals to me. We are of the same mind. My lord. Nevertheless, there remains bad blood between us. There may be some within our ranks who are less than pleased to see you. Rotland. I expect there will be. I understand their hurt, and have made my peace with it. I will suffer their slings and arrows gladly if it means bringing peace to Norzelia. I admire your conviction. In truth, we have already arrived at our decision. 
Your strength is a boon we can neither hope to replicate nor replace. I welcome you, General of Laura, to House Wolfort. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so at least we My got a My sword is yours, Lord Serenor. Avlora can definitely probably help out. Avlora, join the forces. A fierce fighter with a willing to risk even her own life. Stats increase when her HP is low. Posts an incredible power attack, even though it's not without danger. Does she still have that sweet ass like cross move? Now, Saranoa, let us divide House Wolfert into three regiments. Ah, shit! <laughs> I leave the allocation of forces in your capability. Ah, oh, shit! Choose wisely. Once the plan is in motion, we won't have the luxury of adjusting our strategy. Ah, shit. Understood. I had this sneaking suspicion. The whole game. Up to this point, I was like, they keep giving me people that are, like, very similar. And now, it's come to fruition. All units will be divided into three regiments. Each regiment will fight its own separate battle. Shit. I definitely have not trained up some of these people here. Okay. Um. First off, wait, where is Saranoa? Oh, Saranoa's over here. Ah, shit. Like Jens, I haven't used him at all. This freaking decimal robot guy. I have no idea what he can even do. There's this shield, dude. Lionel, I haven't used at all. And over here we got Hasabara, Piccoletta, and Medina I haven't used at all. Or even Groma. Oh my gosh, this is tough. I don't know, I do not know. I have to, I have to create. I have to create three regiments right now though. Okay, let's think about this logically. Okay, each needs a healer of some sort. Uh, Gila in the center. Narv over here. And then Hasabara, as terrible as she is at the moment, is over here. Each needs a shield or a damage absorber. Uh, Serenoa, I guess, has to be the damage absorber over here. We got this guy, Flanagan, who I haven't used at all, in the middle. And then Eridor, obviously, on the left. Uh, each needs a magic caster. We got Narv. We got Ezdana in the middle. And we have Frederica in the front here. I guess, in actuality, Benedict can be... Yeah, Benedict can be the damage absorber for the middle here. So Flanagan isn't exactly 100% needed. Plus, there's two Hawk Riders over here. Okay, what if I lost it? I lost it, though. Okay, so each side then needs a support. Piccoletta. Like, these people I haven't even used, so I don't really know what they can do. <laughs> oh, my God. This is bad. This is bad. Um... Vlora is level 28, which is really good. Maxwell, Vlora over here, along with Roland, should be just fine. And then Narv as the healer. So there's plenty of damage. Jens can be kind of the support slash equipment. We've got plenty of range over here. Oh, there's not really much range over here, is there? It's all going to be melee heavy, except for Narv. Here, over here, we have range on you get and range in Archibald and also in Izana. Over here we have ranged in Frederica, Corinthian. So Roland's crew is the only one really that's lacking in range. Let's throw Archibald over here in order to pick up some of that range. And let's see here. Oh, it's all just mixed up. Let's let's take a level count here. 
Although I guess I can level them, or at least hopefully I'll have the opportunity to level them before we start getting into these individual battles. I've been doing a lot of leveling off screen, running through the mock battles to try and bring people's levels up, so if I have that opportunity to do so, I guess the levels don't really matter, it's just their actual abilities. Let's move Julio over here. I mean, I think that'll be fine. Where's Anna? Anna's over here. I think this will be fine. I mean, honestly, it, just a simple switch of him over here to kind of balance out the range. So we, now we got Archibald with range. We got Narv with range. I don't even know what this decimal dude can do, really. Um, but there's some hard hitters over here, and then our damage absorber, as long as as well as a healer. Over here, we got a healer. Uh, one, two, two ranged as well. Over here we got one range, two range, at least two ranged, and a lot of melee. The damage absorber will be Sarah Noah. And Anna, obviously, very, very helpful in that group. I think that simple switch should be good enough. God help me if I, if I chose wrong. I'm sure I have. And I'm sure the battles ahead is going to be stupid hard and extremely long. So, <laughs> wish me luck, folks. I hope I made the right decision here. Benedict's Regiment to catch an army. Hyzant raises their army on the presumption they can seize the Grand Norzellian Mines for themselves. The Hierophant has ordered them to destroy House Wolfort as well. We, however, will not yield. The Salt Crystals are ours, and we will defend them with our lives. Hyzant shall bend the knee at the tip of our blades. Their army may have the advantage of numbers, but even that will mean not against our wildfire traps. Yeah, if I remember correctly, the Hyzantian just, uh, army blindly in. obeys the Hierophant. But the Hierophant has no power here. We choose our own path, and we have the courage of our convictions. This battle is but the first step on the path Lord Serenoa has laid before us. Let us take this first step together and rejoice. Huzzah! For Norzelia, now and forever. Huzzah! Oh, just a simple nod will do. Roland's Regiment, Assault on Twinsgate. But don't they have like a crap ton of people at the Twinsgate? Twinsgate is sealed. Gustadolf hardens his defenses at the encampment within. We will approach the gate and request an audience. We may yet find common ground with Esfrost. The duchy wields the Death Snell, a weapon capable of reducing the goddess's shield surrounding Hyzant to rubble. We, we need know that this, weapon though? if we are to break the Holy State's stranglehold on Salt, and thus Norzelia. I know this may feel a betrayal to some of you. Esfrost invaded us. They are the enemy. But we have one with us. They murdered my father and brother. And I will never forget nor forgive them for it. But I believe if Father were still here, he would see that I go to Esfros for the right reasons. That I ask them for aid so that we may thrive. For above all, a king's duty is to his people. His duty is I would is sooner for the cast people. out the shadows of the past by building a brighter future than lament our lot in life. I ask for your aid in building that bright future. Let us walk the path set before us by Sarah Noah and lead Norzelia into a new era of peace and prosperity unlike any we've known. Well said. Frederica's Regiment, the Resilient Rescue Effort. To the plan. We shall slip into the capital of the Holy State, disguised as a band of merchants from the Norzelia Consortium. 
Lord Claris has taken on no small amount of risk in agreeing to help us gain entry. We are truly in your debt, Lord Claris. I stand to gain more from a liberated Norzelia, where Hyzant no longer dictates the terms of trade and commerce. In short, spare no extra thoughts for me. This is as much a business consideration as it is helping those in need. All right, I will spare no thoughts. As for he you. says, this is for the future of Norzelia. We now endeavor to destroy the goddess's likeness that serves as a pillar of their teachings. If the Roselin legends are true, we will find that the statue concealed a massive pillar of salt that was stolen from my people. This salt, salt pillar salt is there. incontrovertible proof that the teachings and the goddess around which they are built are lies. The faithful will be shaken to their core, and the Hierophant's power will wane. Ooh, With whack. luck, we may even show the Roselle they were without fault, inciting them to rise once more and cast off the yoke of their oppressors. Yeah, because that sounds like a good army, this a whole bunch of... This is nothing less uh... than a battle to wrest control of Norzelia from the clutches of a capricious and vengeful goddess. Have you prepared the explosives, Lord Claris? Prepared and loaded onto a cart, my lady. Enough to bring the goddess back to Earth, I should think. Excellent. Then let us depart. They're gonna let a bunch of merchants into the, uh, into the source. You are a marvel, Lady Frederica. A Rosellen with as frosty blood, fighting under House Wolfort's banner. Who better than you to challenge Hyzant's tyranny? Do you not feel the weight of destiny upon you? This is not destiny, Lord Claris. Nothing could be less certain than the moment in which we find ourselves. Sarah Noah and I have traveled a long, hard road together. It brought us here, but it does not end here. And so we walk on. Now you seek to fell the goddess. You are possessed of an iron will, if you'll forgive the expression. I shall take that as a compliment. Watch over us, mother. Feels a little weird though. Like... We're just going to rally up the Brazilian slaves who have been battered and tortured this entire time. That doesn't sound like a very good army. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and save the game here. That sounds like a good idea. And now to recap exactly what we have just witnessed. From across the border, the Hyzantian army marches. Its sights set on the Grand Norzelian Mines. At its head is Exham Marshal of the Saintly Seven. Seizing control of the Salt is not his sole objective. He has come to investigate disturbing rumors that Serenoa Wolfort has forsaken the blessing of the Goddess. Knowing the answer to that question and the repercussions it will provoke, House Wolfort and its allies have carved out a strategy on which their survival will hinge. They will divide their forces into three, each acting in concert to outwit their adversary. Roland will lead a company to the Asfrosty border, where they will entreat Lord Svarog for his support and the use of his death knell. Frederica will lead her own retinue to the source to reveal the lies of the goddess's teachings and rouse the Roselle to action as her mother did before her. Benedict will remain in the Wolfort Domain, ready to risk all in an effort to stave off the Hyzantian army. United by their faith in Serenoa's vision, each takes to their preparations with resolve, understanding fate's judgment is at yeah. hand. Yeah. Absolutely. A fire and blood. Hell yes. Minister Exham has arrived with the full might of Hyzant intel. He requests a parley. How diplomatic of him, considering his forces already surround the castle. 
Doubtless he'll demand that we surrender the salt crystals and that we bow our heads low to the Hierophant. We'll deny him, of course, and a battle will follow. Of course. We must make ready. The common folk have been led to shelter, and we have oil aplenty. All that is left is to steal our resolves. Although our forces are fewer, we have the advantage of terrain. Prudent use of our traps will turn the tide of battle in our favor. I knew I saved those traps for something. The enemy knocks at our gates, but we must remain calm as we form our strategy. Our friends await news of our victory. Everybody nod in, in synchrony here. And there we go. Do I have the ability to go into the encampment? Yes, I do. Oh, and I'm controlling Benedict. Will you look at that? You can now access the sundry shop. Everything's still sold out. Oh no, and I still, I only have these people to... Welcome to the tavern. Let's check real quick. Or I'll just go ahead and check this all off camera here. It's kind of cool. Controlling Benedict here. And then the roster. Woo! We got some work to do, folks. We gotta level up three peoples, four peoples, really. In order to make this battle doable. It looks like I'm gonna have to do that on three different occasions though. So let's go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Let's hope to God I made the right decision in order to create uh, a very pleasing end here. Benedict prepares for battle with Hyzanth and a foolproof strategy to claim victory in hand. Thank you guys for watching. We'll pick it back up here in the Wolf Force streets whenever we come back with the next episode. Uh, like the video if you think I did a good job. I hope I did. I don't know if I did. Uh, but also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the what seems like the glorious end to triangle strategy coming up here within the next few episodes. Some long hard battles to fight and I would greatly greatly appreciate a sub to the channel so you don't miss another episode. As always, I will catch you guys on the flip side.